Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You are with me, Tamara Pereira. Let's take a look at the headlines. More than 8,000 people affected by inclement weather. 10% of petrol distributed across country. Ajit Rajapaksa appointed as new deputy speaker. Train services as usual today. Luggage in buses strictly prohibited. Motion to suspend standing orders rejected by parliament. Now, diving into these stories in detail. The Disaster Management Center stated that more than 8,000 people had been affected due to floods following heavy rains experienced in past few days. As per their report, 8,331 people from 2,099 families in the Saburagamo and Western Province. 7,934 people from 1,099 families were affected in the Ratnapura district and 397 people from 108 families were affected in the Kalathura district, the DMC said. 232 houses were partially damaged due to flood. The Ceylon Petroleum Private Bowser Owners Association stated that 10% of petrol is currently being distributed throughout the country. As Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe claimed yesterday, petrol at the CPC storage is hitting the bottom. However, diesel is being distributed and the prevailing shortage will be restored in three days, the association said. SLPP MP Ajit Rajapaksa was today elected Deputy Speaker by a major of 31 votes in a secret ballot. A total of 109 members voted for Mr. Rajapaksa and SJB MP Rohin Kumari Kaviratna obtained 78 votes. A total of 23 votes were invalid. After lifting the curfew at 5 a.m. today, all trains were back online as per the usual and scheduled timetable. 374 trains are scheduled to run today. All long-distance trains are also will be in operation as usual, except the night mail trains for Jaffna and Batiklo. Meanwhile, the timetable will be subjected to change according to the curfew time schedule. For the protection of the passengers, the Lanka Private Bus Owners Association yesterday decided to strictly prohibit the carrying of unwanted luggages in buses. LPBOA chief Gamunu Vijay Ratna advised the passengers to not put their bags on the luggage racks but to keep them in their position. The motion to suspend standing orders to take no confidence motion against President Gotabe Rajapaksa for debate today was defeated by 51 votes. A total of 119 MPs voted against the motion while 68 voted in favour. Accordingly, no confidence motion against President Gotabe Rajapaksa was not taken for debate. The motion was moved by TNA MP M. A. Sumantiran and it was put to vote. The NCME would be taken up for debate on another day. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Tamara Pereira. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.